Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing another movie review, so hopefully you find this one interesting. I do apologise if I sound a little bit stuffy. I do have the flu, so please bear with me. So today I'm going to be reviewing a comedy from Greece. Although it's Greek, it's actually spoken in the English language with some English-speaking uh, actors. It's released in the year 2015, directed by Yorgos Lanthimos, and this film is called The Lobster. So The Lobster is set in a very dystopian future, a very weird atmosphere, where you've got this hotel that is run by people who are forcing single people to find a companion. If they don't find a companion after 40 odd days, Days, they're going to be transformed into an animal of their choice and so it's basically what society says that they have to be and so this very quirky man the main character he's sent to this hotel his brother is next to him his brother actually failed at finding a loved one so he's transformed into a dog and so should this main character fail he wants to be transformed into a lobster and so this is his choice he doesn't want this to actually go down that path so he tries to find the woman of his dreams but he has some very awkward interactions with a lot of women that fail to live up to expectations so He's very uh, alarmed by this, but then finally he finds someone he's interested in, but unfortunately she's a very dangerous character because the love he has for her and the desire to, to be with her is actually forcing him to be on the outer. And so it's getting the attention of the people who are actually running this, and they see him as a danger and the relationship as a danger. And so if he is to prevent himself from being transformed into this lobster, he's actually going to have to bend the rules, which in turn creates a lot of danger. But it's basically how far is he willing to go for love. And how far he is is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on the Lobster. Yorgos Lanthimos is an absolutely brilliant director and one of the most interesting directors to come out in a very, very long time. When he saw, when he made that film Dogtooth, which is a Greek native film in the Greek language with Greek actors, I thought that was absolutely superb. It was one of the most memorable films I'd seen in a long time. It was incredibly disturbing, but it was actually a very real film trapped within a very unrealistic uh, tone, is that you've got some incredibly exaggerated elements in the movie, but the movie basically was about parenting and over being overprotective and how being overprotective can have grave consequences on the children that you're looking after and so although you think you're doing something positive in fact it's having a negative effect and so it was something to really think about and at the same time something to really marvel at how weird things got and so it's basically telling a very serious sort of theme in a very exaggerated and a very very quirky way and so after seeing Dogtooth and absolutely loving Dogtooth I was very interested to see what he could produce in his English speaking debut and so this is a movie that I thought okay, well, it, it does have the potential to be a sellout. A lot of these foreign directors, when they come over to English-speaking movies, they actually make movies based on what they think the viewer's actually going to want to see, and that was something that I was hoping Yorgos Lanthimos wouldn't fall under. So that was the hesitation I had coming into The Lobster, but the reason why I wanted to see it is, number one, it was Yorgos Lanthimos, and number two, it had a very strong cast. It had Rachel Weisz, uh, Colin Farrell, you've got John C. Riley, and a whole host of other British actors that are very recognisable, and so, okay, this is a director who's got the respect, but he's is he going to use that respect in a very positive way, or is he going to fall into the Alexander Aja curse? In Alexander Aja, he created a brilliant French horror film, but when he went over to the United States, he sold out, watered down all of his style, and he became someone that was very disappointing. So I was really hoping that Yorgos and Themos would not be one of those directors, and fortunately, at the end of this experience, I'm so happy to say that he keeps his style. This is a guy who's making films that aren't going to appeal to everyone, but if you like your really quirky stuff with very sad and underlying messages, then The Lobster is definitely for you. This does possess a very similar tone that Dogtooth had, where it was both very funny, very devastating, and quite disturbing as well. It's like a dreamlike atmosphere, but underneath all that really bizarre quality, you had a movie about society's expectations of people and how deceptive appearances can be, is that you might be with someone, but does that necessarily mean you're happy? Is that society says, if you are happy, it paints this picture where a happy person has a family, has a dog, lives in their own big house. And so, okay, if society says that's happiness, then all of a sudden we're following that happiness very blindly. And this is exactly what's happening in this film, is that it's set in a very strange atmosphere, a very strange sort of realm, but underneath you do have that society his expectations and how devastatingly destructive that can be and how that can force us to fall into a depression is that this movie has a very strong depressive quality underneath all the quirky funny qualities that the movie has on the outside and so looks can be very deceiving is that this movie all of a sudden makes you start making you feel very very uncomfortable is that the start of the movie okay you're laughing you're going along with these characters the very awkward interactions between these people I thought okay this is something that you can relate to if you're very nervous if you're trying too hard to find that love of your life but as I said 
society is forcing these people to actually come into these awkward situations. So on one side you can laugh at what's going on, but on the other side you can really sympathise for these characters because of what, why they're actually doing this. Why they're awkward is that, okay, the facade of happiness is not really living up to their expectations, therefore the situation is getting worse and worse. And so, okay, on one side you have an extremely weird uh, tale about people being transformed into animals, and so if that's your kind of thing, then I definitely think Yorgos and Themos is the director for you, but what I loved about this movie so much is that underneath it was a strange sense of melancholy. This is a movie about everyday people trapped in, as I said, that everyday society sort of expectations, and so sometimes that doesn't come out the way you want it, therefore you feel as though you're, you're fighting a losing battle, and so uh, Yorgos Lanthimos, he just he possesses something that just really sucks you in. It's an incredibly absorbing experience that I would highly recommend to anyone out there, especially if you're a fan of Dogtooth. I think the lobster really just elevates from where Dogtooth left off. And so this is definitely a very versatile director, but he can keep his own style without selling out to actually make films for people. And so he's making films for himself, and he's got enough confidence in himself that his style is going to win over a lot of people, and a lot of people are going to follow him rather than he following them. And so that's something I really really appreciate. I thought the acting was absolutely brilliant. You've got Callum, Colin Farrell who plays the main character. He was absolutely incredible and you've got John C. Riley, who had a very memorable uh, performance. You've got Rachel Weisz who plays this woman that likes Colin Farrell's character and the reason why all of these great actors can actually come out and showcase how great they are is because of how great the script is. It's a very, very witty script. The, the deadpan humour in this film is around every corner but then the way the movie is shot, the way that these um, actors deliver their lines is it almost feels like the happiness and the soul of the film has been taken out. And so you know something is missing. And as I said, it's that false expectation that's basically sucking out the life of these people. It's a very depressive sort of atmosphere that the movie's creating. So although you're laughing on one hand, you still feel very uneasy. And so it's a very disturbing film. And as I said, it's something that he possessed in Dogtooth. If you've seen Dogtooth, you'll know exactly what I mean. And so I thought that was absolutely fantastic. I thought the runtime was great. As I said, you're laughing at the start, but then as it slowly keeps on unraveling, it gets darker and darker and by the end of it I actually felt that this was an incredibly sad film and as I said it's a movie that we can relate to as people and uh, basically as I said, that deceptive nature of appearances and how devastating that is. And so I thought the end of the film was capped off very, very well. Uh, it's a very powerful experience right at the end. You will remember it. And so it's another Yorgos Lanthimos masterpiece. I can't wait to check out The Killing of a Sacred Deer. I'm hoping that he can just go even further from The Lobster. But as far as Yorgos Lanthimos is concerned, that's two from two. Uh, he's a brilliant director and he showcases it in The Lobster. So if you like The Dog Tooth, then you're definitely going to love The Lobster. And as a result of that, I'm going to give this film five stars. All right, guys, that's it for my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, thank you for watching movies, and I'll see you later.